Hello, you, beautiful, beautiful people. It's Ophelia Nebuwa once again, and as I promised in my earlier escalation videos, that I will be doing a separate video guide to all the different bosses within this 300 stage Zyga escalation battle. Alright, so there are a total of 7 different boss stages, and I will be covering the first 4 boss stages in this video, and which is basically stage 50. Stage 100, Stage 150, and Stage 180. Alright, so actually this video guide is more catered towards the mobile players because unlike the 3DS version, mobile actually has not as many Megas, especially not that many great Megas. Uh, they do not have the likes of uh, Mega Gardevoir or even Mega Latios. But basically, I'll be giving some 3DS tips as well. And if I can do this pretty much on the mobile version, I'm sure you guys can do a much better job on the 3DS version itself. Alright, so we are kicking things off here at stage 50. And it's a pretty easy stage. I am actually bringing a level 3 Gumi and a level 3 Zygarde 50%. And as I explained in my earlier videos, it is important I feel to personally train up your Zygarde 10%, your Zygarde 50%, and Gumi especially because uh, there will be a lot of boss stages or even non-boss stages that will require uh, disruptions of these three different Pokemon. So it will be good to at least train them up to let's say level 5 or even a higher level as well. Alright, so I want to also just emphasize that this guide will be an extremely, extremely cost-effective guide. Okay, the reason being is that oh, this video guide, at least for these first 4 boss stages, I will not be using any mega starts, I will not be using any disruption delay, and I will not be using any complexities as well. So keep that in mind, and I just want to, I think it's a pretty good idea at least to show you the stage as naked or as bad as it is. and. Just to show you guys what the different disruptions the stage can actually bring and how you can actually optimize your or at least optimize, optimize your best team to actually tackle this stage. Alright, so as you can see we defeated stage 50 with 6 moves left and a nice end stage 18 combo. Alright, so yeah that's pretty much done and dusted and you will be getting a mega speed up if you defeat stage 50 on both the 3DS and the mobile version itself. Alright, so now we'll jump to stage 100. And the reason why actually this video got delayed for quite a while is because, as you can guys can see right here, I actually got a max Zygarde 50% and a max level Zygarde 10%. So like I emphasize, it is actually really important to actually try to really get this Pokemon at a very high level. So you can probably save up some coins uh, when you're tackling these boss stages as well. Alright, so in this stage level 100, it can be a bit tricky because it actually summons the likes of uh, barriers. It can summon Zygarde 10% and 50% as well. So you will definitely want to have a Barrier Bash Plus Pokemon here. So that is one reason why Zygarde 50% is very important here. Not only because of that ability, but because it will also get summoned onto the board as well. Same goes with Zygarde 10%, uh, the dog form, which will also be summoned in, onto the stage. And it actually has Mega Boost Plus for Dragon type. So if you're bringing a Mega, um, a Dragon Mega, it can actually really, really help here. So for the mobile version players, if you do not have a fully candy Mega Rokosa like I have, you guys can actually still do this stage really really well and maybe even better if you're actually using a Mega Gengar team and if your other 3 members are basically a full Dancing Dragons team. So let's say for example, the team that you can bring with a Mega Gengar team can be Mega Gengar, Dragonite, uh, Zygarde 50% and Zygarde 10%. Alright, so mainly I feel that the most two important Pokemon here is basically Zygarde 50% and Zygarde 10%. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Flogers is there basically because this stage can actually get pretty, pretty ugly uh, when this Zygarde boy actually has 30% of its HP left. I will explain that more in detail later on. 
but if you for this uh mobile players can also use the likes of mega latias here as well and like the same principle of using mega Gengar, if you're actually utilizing a dancing dragons team then it can actually boost megas mega latias damage pretty well as well with this full dragon team all right so that's especially for the mobile players with mega latias for the 3ds players with mega latias you can actually do a much better consistent job i feel compared to mega latias and so yeah you can just utilize a full dragon, a full dragon dancing team as well or if you're actually worried that you one barrier bash plus pokemon is not enough you guys can actually bring another barrier bash plus pokemon such as Manoswine or DNC to actually work together with Psygarp 50% so you have two Barrier Bash Plus Pokemon here. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's just it's just a matter of I feel the two most important Pokemon being Zygarde 50% and Zygarde 10%. And if you're going to bring another Dragon Pokemon along as your third member, then you shouldn't be using uh, Mega Vakuaza and you could be using the likes of uh, Mega Gengar, Mega Latias or even Mega Latios for the 3DS version, uh, 3DS players. Alright, so the reason, another reason what I want to say is that uh, you can actually try to manipulate this stage in your favor. Alright, reason being is that when its HP goes down to a certain level, uh, the stage can get pretty pretty ugly with uh you get barriers and even block summons as well so if you know the hp counter that you need to avoid you can actually take use this to your advantage all right so basically the moment its hp damage counter actually reaches the number 24656 that is when its disruptions will start to change now it will be a good idea to make sure that you are actually doing this damage counter directly after after it has done its summon so let's say it, if it's like in this case and it is about to summon something else you will want to keep the damage counter just below 24,656 so the moment it does its new summons you will have two turns to actually take advantage of this and do as much more damage so in some way, if you know that you're going to reach the damage counter of 24,656, try to keep it below that and let Zygarde summon its, its, uh, its earlier disruption. And then you will have two more free turns of a pretty non-disruptive board to actually take advantage and deal as much damage as you can for its remaining 10,000 HP. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So, if you want to do, or if you might want to get better results, I think Mega Latios or Mega Latios can actually do a better job in actually clearing out these, uh, these blocks. But aside from that, if you can actually manipulate the, the stage via this HP counter feature that it has, uh, then you can actually do get much better results. Otherwise, if you feel that you probably need to bring two Barrier Bash Plus Pokemon or not a full Dancing Dragons team, then it might be a good idea to actually just use an Attack Boost and a Plus 5 Boost as insurance to actually defeat the stage itself. Alright, so you don't really need the Disruption Delay because the blocks only start to come on the very last 10,000 of its HP. And with that, we actually succeeded beating the stage with Plus 5 moves with two turns left and we actually got our mega speed up for the mobile versions. For the 3ds version you'll be getting the race max level after we beat stage 100. Alright so now we'll go straight to stage 150 and as I promised I will try to stop using a fully candied mega Rayquaza and just focus on uh, my mega Latias which is actually not candy at well, as well it is it has no candies and the other three members I'm bringing out is basically a full Dancing Dragons team with uh, Max Dragonite, Max Zygarde 50% and Max Zygarde 10% and the items that we'll be using here is just an attack boost and plus 5 moves 
Alright, so this stage is pretty much something like stage 50 with the initial layout and it can get pretty pretty messy for the first 5 turns before the blocks actually disappear. So what you guys want to activate as soon as possible is a Barrier Bash Plus activation which unfortunately it failed here. I went for a Zygarde 10% match for its Mega Boost Plus and it failed there as well so as you can see uh, it's starting to look pretty grim here especially with its World 1 Summon of Rocks. Alright, but thankfully we will Bash Plus activator on the second attempt. And now we actually managed to push all the disruptions down by one roll, so things are looking much better here. Alright, so basically after I do this next move, uh, the blocks actually disappear after the first 5 moves. And unfortunately, uh, my luck was getting much worse and there was no ac accidental combos right there. But luckily we got some La Latias matches and things are actually looking much better now. So this team is actually basically a full dragon dancing team. So it's a it's a really really hard hitting team. Uh, it makes use of Zygarde 50% and Zygarde 10%. Reason being is because Zygarde 50% and 10% will be summoned onto the stage. There will also be summon summons of a roll one rocks as you guys saw earlier on the stage. And when this HP reaches 60% and below it will start to summon metal blocks a big chunk of metal blocks directly in the center all right so if you guys want to take advantage of that make sure its damage counter it is below 14256 just before it does its last uh disruptions all right so basically try to make its hp as close to 14256 and then after that let it summon normally and then you can really hit as hard as you want for the next two turns so you can avoid this happening unfortunately i could not get its hp close to that damage counter mark because of an accidental mega latias match so if you guys can actually manipulate that hp counter much better in your favor uh, you can actually do i think much much better than what i'm doing here Alright, but thankfully with that Mega Latias match, we actually cleared out most of the blocks and we got a nice 7 combo right there. So yeah, so if you guys are planning not to use the disruption delay, good Megas such as Mega Latias and Mega Latios will probably be very very good here. Other Megas that can be, be pretty good is Mega Aerodactyl. Mainly for the mobile players uh, and for the 3DS players, you can even use Mega Steelix. But that is provided if you guys do not want to use a disruption delay. Uh, to be safe, it might be better to use a disruption delay and then you can use items such as attack boost, plus 5 boost and a disruption delay to actually, I think, pretty much secure the win against stage 150. Otherwise, you can take the risk like me and just go for attack boost, plus 5 moves and just make use of, let's say, a Mega Latias, a Mega Latios or even the likes of Mega Aerodactyl and Mega Stenix to actually clear the blocks uh, whichever Mega that you're most comfortable with alright so with that and with some pretty outstanding Mega Latias Mega effects uh, we are actually pretty pretty close to actually beating this stage surprisingly with just an attack boost and plus 5 moves alright so as you guys can see, you want to keep its HP counter low at that certain point in time so that yeah, when it has 60% HP left, let it do its normal disruption then hit it as hard as you can for the next 2 turns so you will have lesser, you will have lesser chances of dealing with such a disturbing block chunk uh, directly in the center of the board Alright, so with that we actually defeated the stage with 6 moves left so technically I didn't even need the plus 5 moves but it was there for just some insurance I guess alright so when you defeat stage 150 you will be getting a mega speed up for both the mobile version and the 3ds version alright so let's jump straight into the final boss stage which is actually stage 180 now as some of you have actually seen my previous videos, I actually did this stage on the 3DS version 
uh, using a much different theme and also succeeding with the items which are which is basically an attack boost and plus five moves. So on the mobile version, even with the more inconsistent Mega Latias, I will be using these same items and just attempting the stage as it is. For the 3DS version, I was actually using Mega Latios because I felt that it was a more consistent Mega with its more consistent uh, Mega clearing effect. Alright, so in this stage, you can see it will actually summon Groomies and Zygarde 50%. Now, actually, you guys can actually pause the video a few seconds before and actually see that uh, the Groomies and the Zygarde 50% disruption will disrupt in a very similar pattern. So, Groomies will summon, let's say, on C1, C3, and C5, and Zygarde 50% will be summoned on D2, D4, and D6. So if you guys can anticipate when the next Gumi and Zygarde 50% disruption will be, you can actually try to take advantage of that uh, disruption pattern. So again, as, I, as you guys can see, I'm actually not using any disruption delay on these boss stages, so you guys can actually understand the feel of how the stage actually works. And yeah, even Mega Start can actually really get me going much easier here. But as you can see, within the four turns, uh, we actually got Mega Latias up and running. So that's pretty pretty quick for such a extremely. Uh, it it takes a while for Mega Latias to actually get Mega Evolved. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So uh, as I get as I mentioned, yeah. So this stage he pretty much summons uh Gumi Zygarde fifty percent. Uh, there is no HP counter manipulation here. It will be just basically a standard Gumi and Zagat 50% summons. And yeah, basically there is no HP counter when his HP gets high or when his HP gets low. Uh, there is nothing that you cannot take advantage of that this time. And it's just about hitting it as hard as possible and getting as many combos as you can. So as you guys can see, uh, my team is basically a full dragon team, so I'm gonna make use of Dancing Dragons once again. Alright, so we got a nice indirect Mega Latias match, a second one here as well. So that was a pretty hard hitting 8 combo. Alright, so if you guys can actually make a Dancing Dragons match just before an indirect Mega Latias or Mega Latios match, uh, you can really hit it harder. As you guys can see right there, we actually got another Mega Latias match as well. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So the summons will also be that top roll where you will get uh, barriers and rock summons in a certain zigzag pattern. Just like how Gumi and Zygarde 50% are now summoned in a zigzag pattern as well. Alright, so basically, honestly... Of all the stages where you do not need to use a disruption delay, I would say stage 180 is one of the few stages where you do not really need to use a disruption delay. Uh, stage 150 probably I can understand why because of the block summons. Same for stage 100 as well, but for stage 180 you can actually make use of the Gumi and Zygarde 50% summon to actually clear or at least get some free combos. And if you're gonna bring a mid, you just pretty much need just a uh, one barrier bash plus Pokemon to actually clear the those three barrier summons, and the boss can pretty much be matched away. And that's basically it. that's all you're de dealing with. You're dealing with Gumi, Zaga 50% summons, and some three barrier three rock summons as well. So Zaga 50% can pretty much do the job with its Barrier Bash Plus and then you can just bring uh, those powerful Pokemon such as a uh, Dancing Dragonite team. If you're concerned about the barriers, you can even bring another Barrier Bash Plus Pokemon as well such as the NC or Menoswine again. Uh, same old, same old. And yeah, so you don't actually need a disruption delay here honestly. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it seems that we're going to be successful with just an attack boost and plus 5 moves. So at least I'm pretty happy that I'm actually saving quite a lot of coins. Not spending on disruption delays or at least saving an attack boost on stage 100 
which add, which which actually cost five thousand coins for the mobile version players. So, yeah, pretty pretty thankful with that. Now, if you do not have any obvious barrier bash plus matches, as you guys can see right here, you can actually make use of a mega latios match, and hopefully those barriers will get removed or will get swiped away. Uh, unfortunately for me, not the case this time. But yeah, and other megas you can even use here can also be Mega Ganga as well. Uh, fantastic combo generating potential. And this stage isn't as disruption heavy compared to stage 100 and stage 150. So Mega Ganga can work really really well here as well. Along with let's say even Mega Rukwaza. Alright, so we are really 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 close to actually uh, getting this stage defeated so yeah so actually I really hope this video actually really works out for you guys it's pretty much a reference to actually try to understand the, these different uh, Zyka boss stages and how you can actually take advantage of it whether you want to take advantage of its certain HP counter uh, whether you want to make use of it summons disruption such as bringing its own disruption summon Pokemon such as Zygarde 10% or Zygarde 50% within these boss stages and just settling it from there. So as you can see with no disruption delays, with no mega stats, with no complexity, we actually done these four boss stages pretty pretty comfortably I would say. And we will actually get our mega speed up for both the mobile and the 3DS players. So really really good stuff. And that concludes the video. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please drop a like. Please subscribe. It really really helps. Now I got to rush and clear me off as soon as possible with 4 minutes left. So take care guys.